morning, afternoon, evening, Dark Age of Camelot community, depending on where you're located in the world and watching this video. Uh, this will be a short video. I just wanted to talk about uh, the Dragon Slayer's quests. Uh, some of them that you start out, you've got to find Elia here. And she has a partner named Sir Gregory. They are located in Humberton Castle, which is just northwest of Camelot Hills and Cotswold. I believe you can start these quests around level 15. Um, as you can see, I've already gotten a couple of the items. All right. uh, Sir Gregory will actually offer quests. Oh, that's one of my quests that I can't complete. Okay, that must be a CSR getting back to me. They didn't say which quest, though. Um, so I've already completed two of them. As far as my journal... Okay, I'm guessing that's going to be this one. It's only a level 13. As I just learned with another quest, some of these quests... If your level is too high, you can't complete them. Now, this one, I got an email with a bug report. Okay. All right, so we got CSRs online today. Now, with Sir Gregory, he'll offer... That, that threw me off a little bit. Dragon Swarm quests. Okay, I got a level 25 here. Two of them. All right, now, it'll even tell you... To return to him and sometimes you have to kill one to make the other show themselves uh, these ones are in Camp of Corinthian Forest which I'll be heading there soon as I'm trying to take my newest tune to 39 all right and you can see I got the quest for the Teapox Mines. All right. And, of course, starting out, items are not that great. So far, he has given me a choice of rings. Uh, since I'm not using either of these rings, I just went ahead and grabbed one of each. Notice, though, the bonus levels on them are 10. So lower level characters can actually equip these. And these are actually pretty good items to equip to a lower level character because accessories no longer degrade in condition or quality or durability or any of that stuff. They don't degrade anymore. Now, I don't know how far you can take these quests. Um, you'll also get some items for completing them. Uh, that kind of give you an overview of some of the people who have joined the Dragon Slay uh, the Dragon Sworn, which the Dragon Sworn are enemies of all three realms. Uh, regardless of which realm you play, there are Dragon Sworn quests in all three realms. Uh, that is the only thing the three realm realms have in common that I've found in Dark Age Camelot. But you can see as you read this, I mean it kind of gives you a little bit of flavor to the game. Alright, makes the quest definitely worth doing. As always, thanks for